Get rich fast with csgofast.com. ESL Pro League finals is season six, day one is progressing. We've already started with the group B. A couple of rounds are done and Misfits are actually 2-0 up. So, so far so good. Um, obviously, I wanted to kind of start with um, your last couple of months. They've been quite successful with you guys actually getting into the main qualifier. So quite a quite a big improvement but lately really so can you maybe talk to me about that especially the the minor and, and, and how it went well yeah so i mean in the summer uh when peacemaker was on the team there's like a massive kind of like internal falling out within the team uh that the public was kind of kept kept away from we bounced back from that after the player break and that's when thing we really started like work really hard is after the player break and uh basically leading up to the minor we had some role changes so, I mean, honestly, the, the players on my team might not even know that I did this, but I kind of removed myself as an entry fragger in certain locations where I wasn't comfortable and I wasn't producing numbers. And in place of that, I'm now like lurking a little bit more, which is what I'm way more comfortable with. It's what um, I did a lot of actually on Cloud9 as well as, um, yeah, so like back in the day, yeah, I, I lurked a little bit more. And you can see that actually if you probably watch like the North demo or even uh, the NRG demo, like I'm lurking a little bit more and I'm more comfortable, so I'm producing more fags, um, which obviously is good because the other players produce numbers all the time, so yeah. All right, so with that in mind, kind of obviously in, in like a month or so, you have the main qualifiers. So how important is this event for you um, considering you, you have those those events coming up, you know? Yeah, I think this is a, a huge event for us. We did a lot of work coming into this, boot camping and really solidifying our map pool on, you know, like five maps at least that we're comfortable on playing right now. We can, we can play all seven, but we're really, really comfortable on about five of them, um, so much so that we could, we could literally just pick them. Mm -hmm. um, and I think going into the minor, that's super important for us because we only need to make small changes to set off pace timings and things that our teams can't anti-shroud us at this point. This also must be kind of like a test for you to, to see how you kind of fare against uh, European teams and, and other competition than, than just North America where you've been kind of for the, for the last couple of months, right? Yeah, it's definitely way different playing like online scrims in Europe. People actually play, you know, to, to play the scrim other than like a couple of teams we play against. A couple of teams, honestly, it's worse than NA. But Any names? <laughs> no, honestly, it's probably teams that no one would really care much for. It's not like, you know, tier one or tier two teams, sure. but... Um, yeah, we played against a couple teams where it was like, dude, we're back in NA right now. What is going on? <laughs> um, but yeah, it feels really good to play against EU teams that actually are very structured. It's way easier to read teams like this, uh, so I can make on-the-fly calls and adjustments. And yeah, uh, I, honestly, I love playing against EU teams. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Now, getting into the matches here, I think, well, skipping the the energy match, I think that's kind of like a that's like a comfort match for you, I guess. But getting into North, I want to touch on Cobblestone. At the minor, you kind of started playing it, and it was, it was clear, pretty clear that you only recently kind of got in, into the map pool and got comfortable on it. So is that why you you let it through to to um, in the north veto? Yeah. So I told the guys, the guys were like super against actually letting it through in the minor, but uh, I did some convincing, and oh, I felt out. yeah. Well, we played it like literally only two times before the minor in scrims, and it was just me on the fly calling. And even at the minor, I was just on the fly calling. And then when we came to this boot camp, we worked on it more and more and more and we have strats now on it that, that are very deep like we're very deep on cobble um, and we're super comfortable on it now so yeah I think the boot camp pushed us over the edge and I think we're definitely a force on that map mm -hmm. and I'd be shocked if a lot a lot of teams leave it in it against us at this point right so well talk, talk me through the match a little bit as, as, as well obviously it was you were quite in control most of the way after that i think it was like six six point six four or something like that so so what what do you think you did right in the match really uh we had good reads throughout the entire match on like what they would do and how they would do it uh and even the rounds they won on the first half. i think they won like four one on four rounds with one person alive one round with two people alive you know like the rounds they were winning that kept their economy going uh were honestly like coin flips at best, you know, two v fours where people would both jump out the window and flank the B guys. Um, that's a great mid game call by them, but at the same time, it's we we're messing up, you know. Um, I did feel like we were in control, especially when we won the T pistol. I knew when we won the T pistol that uh, they would have to work really hard to beat us at that point. Mm -hmm. Yeah. All right. Now, leading obviously, you still have one much one more match left. Uh, for today and then two matches tomorrow. So how, how confident are you going into the rest of the rest of the group stage really? 
Uh, I think we're pretty confident for the rest of the group stage. Uh, I think we can keep it to maps that we really, really want to play uh, due to the veto system. And I'm most scared about playing SK. Mm -hmm. Even though they're in our group, we actually played against them in the boot camp. Yep. Uh, obviously, both teams probably didn't really do what they like doing. But it was just interesting to play against them in the boot camp. They're a very structured team, even when they're not trying. Um, so I think that could be the biggest hurdle for us. Mm -hmm. uh, we haven't. We should have probably beaten Optic at Iowa Power based on how we started the match, but they beat us. So I'm really excited to play Optic again, especially because I know they're like huge anti shredders So it's mm -hmm. gonna be like some weird mind game meta mm -hmm. that I'm gonna <laughs> try to try to be ahead of in that match. Yeah. Now, well, Optic. That's that's still that's quite a comfortable matchup for you since you you probably know them from um, especially now from pro league and, and and stuff like that and since they they played quite a lot of online matches right yeah yeah we played against optic a lot and honestly we trade blows quite a bit I think like they beat us we beat them they beat us we beat them and then our power they beat us so it's our turn now now that you touched on iBot power obviously there was especially that one uh, I think it was a liquid match right the the, the big comeback it's gonna be rough to talk about I know but. It's, you know what, what 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 happened there really? I think it must have been like one of the biggest comebacks that we have we've seen this year. Uh honestly when we lost that one on three to twist where I'm just like literally dead calm me like please stay together, stay together guys, stay together, just go through the vent, stay together, just rush him, trade the kill. Match would have ended, you know, fifteen seven and then he wins that one on three. And when I saw literally all three people split up and go different ways, I was just like so frustrated and it was hard to get my head back in the game at that point because it was just such like a weird error and then you know they did a great job of snowballing at that point like we they took us completely out of the game and they changed the pace really really well uh i i think every one of our players on our team is very confident in cash so the fact that we blew a lead like that on cash says a lot about how good liquid played that match actually even though we were all super tilted um but yeah our our tempers definitely flared that match <laughs> Right now, you've kind of touched on this uh, at the start when you when you said you kind of like the internal stuff and 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 you know leading after the um, after the the off uh, the off season, but um, what I wanted to ask about was kind of what changed what has changed in the last uh, six months really since you got Devo Duvek, since you got a manic uh, at in like May or something or like April May, what what has changed since then? Obviously now that you've now you've kind of looked a little bit more consistent, I would say. Yeah, I think both of them have evolved tremendously as players. Like they. Uh, understand rotations and how people move around maps more. They understand supporting players. Um, we understand how they like to play now a lot better too, you know? Um, stuff that you can't really communicate, you just have to see over time how people are gonna react to certain situations, what's their natural instincts. Right. Um, so all of that changed and for the better. Obviously, the more we play with them, the more we learn about them and vice versa. Um, and then, like I said, I, I kind of switched my role around a little bit too, which mm -hmm. helped. Yeah. Okay, cool. Um, any last message just a shout out whatever no just thanks for you know all the fans that stick by us through all this time i know it's been like a little bit of an up and down year but right now we're trying to like ride this peak for the end of the year and end 2007 on a good note okay cool now we're going to come back with more interviews as the day progresses we still have i think two rounds coming up so stay tuned